11 breaking news alert. It's over. An hours long standoff with an armed suspect and law enforcement ended with a deputy involved shooting in security wide field tonight. Right now, the suspect who El Paso County Sheriff's deputies say was barricaded inside of a home is in the hospital. Nobody else was hurt. The standoff forced a quarter mile area near 8587 and Fontaine Boulevard to shelter in place for hours. A nearby elementary school was put on secure status during this tense standoff. 11 News reporter Matt Kroschel is live from CSPD headquarters. Matt, investigators from that agency are now handling this investigation. Lindsay, that is the protocol. Still no word on how many shots were fired during this situation or how many deputies were involved. We do know that suspect was taken to the hospital. His condition is not known. I was sitting in my office and um, I heard five shots just like back to back like pew, 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 pew. Maddie Wazzle was just one of the dozens of residents asked to stay inside their homes away from windows as law enforcement surrounded a neighbor's house with guns drawn. Now that I have a newborn, um, it's a lot scarier, definitely, and I think we're probably going to look into moving after this. Scary and frustrating for people stuck inside the lockdown zone. That included those inside this elementary school a few streets over from the standoff parents were eventually allowed to pick up their kids, but not after tense moments waiting for the all clear. That all clear included an ambulance with a police escort, a suspect inside, and a new investigation into this deputy involved shooting. The suspect's name has not been released yet. Deputies still looking into those reports from neighbors about those shots being fired early on. Reporting live in downtown Colorado Springs, Matt Kroschel, KKTV 11 News. All right, Matt, thank you. We're also working to learn more right now about a reported shooting in Palmer Park. That happened on the